Take a listen to this. Congressman um, Castle, I want to know, I have a birth certificate here from the United States of America saying I am an American citizen with a seal on it, signed by a doctor with the hospital administrator's name, my parents, my date of birth, the time, the date. Well, they're just giving the Pledge of Allegiance apropos the, uh, the sort of the nut case going on there. Anyway, nutty questions about the president's birth certificate are being raised not only at Republican town meetings, but also in Congress, where a group of Republicans are sponsoring a bill to require future presidential candidates to provide their birth certificates. Uh, one of those Republicans is Congressman John Campbell of California. Congressman, thank you for joining us. The reason this is fascinating is that meeting. But let me tell you, the prime sponsor of this, the, your colleague Bill Posey of Indiana, Here's what he said. I can't swear on a stack of Bibles whether he's a citizen or not. He's talking about the President of the United States. His spokesman says if the guy would produce an authentic birth certificate, an authentic birth certificate, we could stop all this. And then Congressman, Congresswoman Blackburn says people in her district are in Tennessee are losing faith in the American system because they don't believe this guy's a citizen. Uh, what is going on that so many Americans doubt the obvious that Barack Obama is a citizen to the point that you felt it necessary to co-sponsor this crazy proposal? First of all, uh, Chris, we'll get to the proposal in a minute. The proposal is not crazy. The proposal is just looking forward, and, and I want to get to that. But wouldn't you like to put all this to rest? That's what this proposal is about. How does this, this put this, it to rest? This, this controversy, let me first say, this controversy is not new. Remember, there was questions about John McCain. Had John McCain become president, I remember then Senator Obama had to come out and say, look, I don't think John McCain's eligibility to be president is an issue. And he was able to put it to rest, but the fact is if John McCain if to become president, you'd be having this issue on the other side. If you want to go back, people thought that Barry Goldwater was not qualified because he was born in the Arizona Territory and that Mitt Romney's father, George Romney, was not eligible to be president because he was born in Mexico. So this is not a new issue. What this bill does is very simple. It's only looking forward, as you suggested. It's 2012 right. and beyond. And it just, it, 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 well, let me back up. You know, the Constitution, as you know, uh, there's lots, most elements of the Constitution have implementing legislation. This particular element of the Constitution does not. And this is just implementing legislation, right. just saying, look, before you run for president, let's 
make sure, let, let's have you substantiate that you meet the constitutional requirements, right. that you're 35 I, I, years old, Congressman, Why is that crazy, though, Chris? Congressman, nice try. What? But what you're doing, it's a nice try, what you're offering, okay. and I'm, I'm laughing with you only to this extent, because I know it's a okay. nice try. What you're doing is appeasing the nutcases. You, as you just pointed out, this won't prove or disprove whether Barack Obama is a citizen. By the way, let me show right. you his birth certificate. That's the way to deal with this. Mail this birth certificate to the wacko wing of your party so they see it and say, I agree with this, it's over. What you're doing here is doing what the Republicans did after Roosevelt got elected to a third and fourth term. You said you can't do it again. You're verifying the paranoia out there. You're Chris. saying to the people, you're right, that's a reasonable question, whether he's a citizen or not. Is it a reasonable question, Senator, uh, Congressman? Do you believe it's a reasonable question whether Barack Obama um, is a legitimate native-born American? Is that Chris, a legitimate question? Chris, isn't it a legitimate question? And let me ask you, isn't it a legitimate is it? question Here's the to know, Chris, Chris, if anybody who runs for president, you, me, whoever, that we meet the constitutional requirements, 35 years of age, uh, been a resident of the, of the country for 15 years, whatever it is, and a natural born citizen. Don't you think that anybody who runs for president should ha wouldn't you want to know that? That, that they meet well, those requirements you're, you're, but before why? they run. Okay, let me What's ask you this. Do you have any doubts, Congressman, about the authentic native birth in this country of our president? Do you Chris, have any doubts? Chris, my, it doesn't matter Do you have any doubts? I have doubts or not. It doesn't oh, matter. You won't answer the simple question. Chris, See, that feeds United this. States. I agree this with no, no. You are feeding the wacko wing <laughs> of your party. Chris. Do you believe that Barack Obama is a legitimate native born American or not? That is not what this bill is about, Chris. No, what and do you, you believe? You, as far as I know, yes. Okay? As, as far, far as you know, yeah. I'm showing you his birth certificate. Oh, I can't, I'm looking at a camera right now. So oh, I can't oh, you want me to that. mail it to you? Oh, no. You're but, so, yeah. but Chris, Chris. It's on the screen now. Take a close look. <laughs> Chris, it says okay. Barack Hussein Obama. Uh, he was born August fine, 4th, 1961 fine. in Honolulu. Is that a state? Yes, it was. Fine. He's, his Chris. mother was Caucasian. His father was African. What more do you want? Fine, He's male. What is the He matter? was born, by the way, at 7.24 p.m. in the island of Oahu. Okay. Uh, well, what more do you want? I mean, I'm serious. You say as far as you know, you are playing to the crazies. Chris, what is wrong? Just tell me. Okay, no, give me Chris, a... you tell me what... that Because that bill is not about Barack Obama. The well, bill then, is about what about anybody, you? What are you about? The bill I'm is asking about you, anybody congressman, who runs for president. You know what? You have a lot of authenticity. What's, You're a U.S. congressman. <laughs> say it now. He's <laughs> a legitimate you. president of the United States. He was born he in is, this country. He is president of the United States. And as far no, as... No, was he born in this country? As, yes, I believe so. Okay, you're glad we're making progress here. Okay. You know, your colleague so, who put this right. bill in it. No, but the reason your but, colleague, Chris, Bill, you co-sponsored a bill by this guy, Posey. Posey's okay. spokesman said, we want to see an authentic birth certificate from this guy. His people said, he, his, this is what the congressman said, I can't swear on a stack of Bibles whether he is or isn't a legitimate data born American. You guys are playing to the wacko ring. Now, I'm glad that you've just left the band of merry men and women <laughs> who are out there <laughs> jumping up at hearings of uh, people like Mike Castle, who is a normal person, and raising what is really not a good question to raise. Now, you had to put it to rest. Okay. Get a copy I'm of listening. Barack Obama's uh, <laughs> okay. uh, birth certificate, which, by the way, you didn't have to have to be on this show to get a copy of it if you had no, any interest in finding it. I because know. before you signed on to this bill, I would have recommended to you, if I were one of your staffers, find out if Barack Obama has a birth certificate that shows he's born in this country before we proceed in this wacky direction, because this will send a signal Chris. to the whole world if the U.S. Congress passed is a bill and ask the president to sign it that says that no future president can get in the door without proving as a citizen. I think he might get the message that he's just been profiled as a suspect in this Chris, case. I want, I want to see the letters that you send to your constituents, and I want to know whether you tell them, you know, sir, I have a copy of his birth certificate. We really don't need it for this president, but I understand the need for future presidents. But I just don't want to see people playing to the nut wing. And you not, say you're not doing that. Not, absolutely not doing that. In fact, it's the okay. opposite, Chris. It'll, it'll shut this stuff down. No, it won't. <laughs> All right. Well, no, we no, can disagree won't. to no. disagree on no, that. But if this shuts it down, I'll be shocked. Okay. Anyway, thank you for your great guy to sure. come on the show. Congressman John Campbell, sure. who does thank believe, you. watch the rerun at 7 o'clock, he does <laughs> believe that Barack Obama is a native-born American. So those wackos in your district out there, don't vote for this guy because he fundamentally disagrees with you.